What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be my April, yes, April favorites. And I'm really excited because this month I discovered a lot of new products that I am really, really happy with. And even now, there's some products that I got kind of mid-month, kind of last week also, that I am just absolutely loving. Want to give myself some more time with them though before I introduce them to you. But for now, let's just talk about everything that has been just on point this month. So the first thing that I want to talk about is this eyeliner that I have been absolutely loving. And actually this product and then the next one I'm going to talk about are actually two products that I found through Tamana from Dress Your Face. This is the Ingla AMC Gel Liner in number 77. She's not the first person that I hear talk about it. Um, there's many other YouTubers that I've heard and beauty bloggers that I've heard talk about this before. I don't know what it is about Tamana, but I just get so drawn into um, her teaching and her suggestions. And what I liked about this was that she said it was just such a good gel liner to use on her clients. And I'll be honest, it is so good. First of all, this is the blackest black eyeliner I think you'll ever find. Also, what intrigued me the most about it is the fact that it is not your typical gel formula. This almost feels moussey. That's the best way that I can describe it is that it has this moussey texture to it. So it's not very thick, which means it makes it very easy to play around with. And also it just lasts like all day, like all day. I'm someone that from time to time I get a lot of seasonal allergies. So um, usually one of my eyes will always just be constantly watering. And I think I mentioned this on my channel before. And usually just no matter what, I don't care how long wearing the gel liner is, it'll just begin to flake off at some point. This one does not move. You can cry in it and it's not going to budge whatsoever. So definitely my favorite gel liner because it just comes in handy when I'm doing bridal makeup. I know brides are going to tear up. I don't need their makeup to be running. And this is just an eyeliner that I know for sure is going to just stay put no matter what happens. And then on to the next product suggestion that I got from her. It's going to be the Cinema Secrets Brush Cleaner. It's this bad boy right here. I personally purchased the larger size because obviously I go through a bunch of brush cleaner, like an insane amount of brush cleaner because not only do I need it for myself, but I take it with me when I do house calls or of course when I have clients here at my home. And on days where I am booked back to back to back, I need to make sure my brushes are fresh and clean and sanitized for every client that I have walk through my door. This is, I believe, the 32 ounce. Let me just make sure I'm not lying to you on the ounces here. Yeah. So this is 32 fluid ounces. Honestly, it's the best deal you can get out of all the sizes because of how much product you have in here and the price point it's at. I don't remember exactly how much it was. I want to say it was around $30 or so, um, but I'll link it down below. Well, I'll link everything that I mentioned in this video to a blog post on cateye.com. This is the big uh, back stock that I have to always refill my small little bottle that I take with me or that I use here. What I like most about this brush cleaner is the fact that it dries so fast and I've it's like magic. Um, I don't know what the active ingredient is in it, but it's like you just dip the very tip of your bristles within this brush cleaner and everything literally gets just sucked out from that brush. And just on a towel, or I guess a paper towel, I will say that a towel works better though. You just clean it off and it is squeaky clean, like insanely clean. And it dries so fast, so it's great for color you know, switching in between uses and stuff like that. Also, it deodorizes your brushes. It makes your brushes smell like vanilla. That's the best way I can describe it. If you're someone that doesn't like sweet scents whatsoever, it's not going to be the best thing for you, and you're probably not going to love this, but um, it gets the job done, so it cleans your brushes. If you can put up with the scent, then that's all that really matters, I guess, right? So the next product that I want to talk about is this primer that I did pick up at the beginning of the month because I was going out of town, and I was just kind of strolling through Target, getting what I needed. I saw this primer, and... I was already running out of my usual primer that I use, which is that Velvet uh, Primer Serum from Meron. And so I was like, why not? Let's just pick up a new primer and see what this one's about. And what I came across was this primer from Maybelline. It is the Master Prime by Face Studio. And I believe they have three different formulas. I got the one for blur and smooth because myself, I have a lot of large pores and I really like to make sure they are diffused and softened up and they just kind of get blurred away. 
What I like about this primer and what it was different for me, I've never used a primer that has such a um, liquid consistency. This one has that more of a loose consistency. consistency. It's not a typical thick silicone feel primer. This is good for daily use, in my opinion, for me. I like something that does have that silicone thick feel. So what I've been doing lately is actually putting this on and then layering it over or under and then over on top I put on a I got a little sample size of the benefit professional I've been trying that out too um, so I'll put the professional just on the areas where I feel like my pores are enlarged the most which is just basically my t-zone which is my nose and my cheeks here um, and it just really smooths everything out and I do like the way it makes my foundation lay but I will be honest my makeup doesn't last as long as it did with the Maron primer so that's the only thing. So definitely in here I have my empty bottle of the Maron Primer. It's not completely empty, but I'm going to need to get something to scoop out that excess product, just really make full use of this. I will be reordering this one just because for my clients, this is just something that I don't think I've found anything better so far. So still going to be using this for my clients. I like this more for personal use. I've tried it on a few of my clients already, um, and I like it, but I don't know what it is. I just feel like this one makes everything just stick so much better. So, again, daily use, professional use, that's where I kind of put this primer into things. So along with that primer from Maybelline, I did pick up also on that same Target run, the Maybelline Master Conceal. I've seen this before. It intrigued me. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought this was in a different kind of packaging at one point. I don't know why, I thought it was a lot smaller. And when I saw it in store, I was like, wow, this is actually a pretty big primer bottle. But um, I like it, so let's talk about it. Uh, yeah, so I've been trying this out for a little bit. They didn't have the shade that I actually really wanted, which is the one that's the next one lightest to this one. Um, I believe this is the second to the lightest one. Um, but it still works because I've been self-tanning lately, and so with the color that my skin is right now, this has been working out really well. I like it. It's full coverage, so that's good too. Also, it doesn't give me that weird texture that I've talked about before that some concealers just tend to give me. It's not a breakout. It's just like texture. And it's always around my forehead. Head. and if it does get bad it's kind of like around my chin area or mouth area so this has not been causing that which I really like and again it's full coverage it blends out really well into my foundations next is gonna be a lip color and I have just been abusing this color like no other this past month and it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in pure Hollywood I have posted a lot of looks on Instagram using this uh, lipstick and a lot of people have asked me what it is that I'm using, or I'll post it on a Snapchat. By the way, if you're not following me, I suggest you do. You can kind of get a little inside look or behind the scenes stuff when I am, um, you know, just goofing around. This color is such a good nude. I love it so much. And what I like about most about this is that it can tend to look maybe a little too flat or too nude sometimes. Um, but when you top it over with a sheer gloss, uh, it just like brightens it up all over again and it just... It's honestly just the perfect nude. It's a great formula too, by the way. I am definitely going to pick up more of these liquid lipsticks because they are just the bomb.com and they last forever. So speaking of my tanning, as I mentioned just a little while ago, the tanning product that I have been loving lately is going to be from Loving Tan. If you guys are regular YouTube subscribers to different channels, I am sure I'm not the first person that's, you know, going to be talking about this or that you've heard about this from. I'm a very fair-skinned person, girl, whatever. Um, I don't tan on my own. I just get burned or red. So it's very hard for me to tan. I can't just lay out in the sun and just have that beautiful natural glow. Self-tanner and spray tans have just been my, like, life-saving alternative to getting that nice tan. I got the dark... Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I got the dark tone and this is the deluxe bronzing mousse. They have different formulas and different shades to get. Uh, it's great. It dries super fast. It doesn't have that ugly self-tanning scent and the color is a nice olive. Um, you can see here that I don't look super like overly done tan, but I do have now just a nice color to my skin, which I absolutely love. I've been wearing it in the past couple of my videos, um, and I just recently retouched it, so this is more of like a fresher version of how it looks. Also, just so you know, I do apply it with a tanny mitt. I know, this looks disgusting, just please ignore it. Um, this is just one that I got from Ulta, so 
It works beautifully with a tanning mitt. I have recently tried it on my face. It doesn't cause any reaction for me. Keep in mind though, I'm not someone with sensitive skin, so not a lot of things cause reactions on me. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just a really good tanning product. It gives a nice olive tone look. Next thing I'm going to talk about are the NYX Prismatic Eyeshadows. <gasps> These are so beautiful. Okay, if you guys are looking for those really high metallic shine eyeshadows, I know the Makeup Geek Foil shadows are all the rave right now. So I purchased these because I wanted to compare them to the Makeup Geek Foil eyeshadows just to see how well they hold up as far as their color payoff. I don't personally own any of the Makeup Geek Foil eyeshadows, so it's not like I could get a 100% you know, compare side by side kind of deal going on. Um, but from what I've seen from the swatches and different tutorials where people are using the Makeup Geek Foil eyeshadows, these just seem like a really good alternative. So I did pick up four shades. I have Mermaid, Frostbite, Golden Peach, and Liquid Gold. And honestly, they are phenomenal. I love Mermaid. I have yet to use it on a client, but on myself, it is just so, it's just so pretty. It's a pretty, pretty green color, um, seafoam green. But on my clients and on prom clients that I've had uh, recently, Liquid Gold and the Golden Peach have been phenomenal. Honestly, they give such a nice, pretty shine without looking too overly done, glittery, or metallic. It's just high shine and a good color payoff. So these are really affordable. Again, uh, NYX, you can buy it at Ulta. They always have that buy one, get one 50 going on. Or at CVS, I'm not too sure if you can find these, but I know for sure Ulta did carry them. Also, I ordered them through Ebates. If you guys don't know what Ebates is, I'm going to link it down below. You guys can check it out. It's a way to get cash back when you're shopping online. Really helpful. And yeah, highly recommend trying out the NYX prismatic eyeshadows. So the last thing that I want to talk about is actually going to be a foundation and uh, this is one that I kind of just went out on a limb and tried. I've heard many good things about this foundation in the past. I know a lot of people really love this foundation and I was like, you know what? It seems like a suitable foundation. I've heard enough good reviews about it. Let me give it a go. The Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Now I did not pick this up for myself in personal use although I have tried it already from the shades that I did get. Um, this was actually for my makeup kit for clients because more often than not, I'm doing makeup for an occasion that is gonna have to, their makeup is gonna have to last them all day and they need something full coverage and long lasting. I've heard nothing but good things about this foundation and the fact that it does exactly everything that I just explained. It's very full coverage, it lasts a long time, and it stays matte so nothing's like slipping and sliding all over the place. And it does run pricey if you are to buy this at a department store. Luckily though, I live somewhere um, in a surrounding city that we have an outlet and we have a cosmetic company store there. These were like about half of the original price, so it came out to a really good deal. And also, just FYI, any other makeup artists out there that are watching this video, if you are actually employed by Estee Lauder, you get an additional discount off of these already discounted items. So that is just phenomenal. I suggest to take full advantage of that if you haven't done so already. But yeah, it's a beautiful foundation. Every client that I've used it on, and you guys know if you follow me on Instagram, I always post looks of my clients, and it just gives a beautiful finish. Only thing though that I could say that I don't, like it's not my favorite thing about this foundation, is the fact that it is in a pour bottle. You guys know I like to keep things sanitary, and I really like, well, I really appreciate pumps. It just keeps it a lot cleaner. So this wraps up my April favorites. I am actually, did I say favorites? Weird. I feel like it came out weird. This wraps up my April favorites. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. It'd mean a lot to me if you do. And let me know down below in the comments if you tried any of these products, what you think of them, or if you have any product suggestions. You know, I love getting suggestions from people. Um, it gives me a reason to just go and get more makeup. <laughs> Anyway, just kidding. Kind of. Not really. So anyway, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. And until next time, guys. Bye.